Okay, now the next question would be which of the following can be produced by Kolbe's electrolysis? And the options are methane, propane, biphenyl, octane. Uh, let's check them one by one. Methane obviously can't be produced by Kolbe's electrolysis because our line of thinking would be the product of Kolbe's electrolysis, the organic product, that means the alkane produced as a result of Kolbe's electrolysis, is a symmetrical alkane having even number of carbon. So methane is straight away ruled out because methane is having an odd number of carbon. So methane cannot be produced. Propane again have odd number of carbon. So propane can also not be produced through Kolbe's electrolysis. Biphenyl is a symmetrical molecule having this structure. And we saw previously that biphenyl can be produced by Kolbe's electrolysis using benzoic acid. Right? Using benzoic acid, we can produce biphenyl. So biphenyl is the right option. Octane. Octane has eight carbon. Octane has a symmetrical structure, four carbon on each side. So octane can be produced using Kolbe's electrolysis. And which will what will be the acid through which octane would be produced through Kolbe's electrolysis? The salt of the the salt would be sodium or potassium pentanoate. Fine. Now let's solve uh, a different class of question having two carboxylate ion. Suppose this is a salt provided and I'm carrying out Kolbe's electrolysis. Suppose I'm passing electricity through the solution having this compound. And the procedure will be all exactly the same as previous. There are two carboxylate ion and the mechanism that we studied for one carboxylate ion will follow for both the carboxylate ion. So there will be oxida oxidation at both the ends, there will be removal of carbon dioxide gas at both the ends and there will be generation of free radical at both the ends. So I'm straight away bypassing first two step and writing the intermediate of the third step. Here you will reach after oxidation and removal of carbon dioxide gas. Now we have two free radicals within a similar mo within one molecule. Now the last step is dimerization. In normal course we have R dot and this R dot dimerizes with another R dot, right, to form a bond. Here we have two two free radical within the molecule. Now this molecule will not be going in search of another molecule to pair up to dimerize. They are two free radicals and they'll combine with each other to form a bond. So the final product would be straight away cyclohexene. Easy enough to understand. Similarly, suppose I have sodium or potassium salt of 1,7 heptane dioate. Right? There there will be sodium or potassium ion, I'm not drawing that. And similarly we are passing electricity through this molecule. Now here also we have two carboxylate ions, so the whole process will be for both the carboxylate ion, oxidation of this oxide ion atom and then removal of carbon dioxide gas. After these two groups are removed in the form of carbon dioxide gas, we'll be left with five carbon and those two, five carbon I'm drawing without hydrogens. Now we, again we have two free radical within a single molecule. Now this single molecule will not be searching another molecule to pair up or to dimerize with. There are two free radicals within the molecule whenever and, and as we proceed ahead in the course we'll encounter various such, such situation in which there will be a possibility of reaction within a molecule. When that happens, when a molecule reacts within itself, that is called intramolecular reaction. When two molecules interact with each other to give a product, that is called intermolecular reaction. 
Now here I'll I'll give you a brief about this intermolecular reaction and intramolecular intermolecular reaction and intramolecular reaction and we'll have various and we'll have more detailed discussion about this latter whenever we have intramolecular reaction that reaction is always much faster than intermolecular reaction the reason being when we have a molecule suppose we have a, a r dot in the system that molecule will be surrounded by molecule of solvent water or ether or ethanol whatever the solvent is and if this molecule this r dot is going to dimerize with another r dot this another r dot will also be surrounded by the molecules of solvent now these r dots will be revolve will be moving around in the system and in search of another r dot and two r dot will come along and they'll dimerize in the first the movement of this r dot will be very much restricted because of solvation process and when these two r dot comes together and that will be a slow gradual process when they when they come together after slow movement in the system then there will be electronic transition from this r dot to this r dot electrons from this r dot will enter into the orbital of this r dot and electron and vice versa that electronic transition will not be very easy and simple because electron has to pass through the cage of the solvent surrounding the molecule and that electronic transition will be very slow and the whole process of bond formation will be very slow so this dimerization with the ease with which we write doesn't take place with the same ease the process is very slow on the contrary suppose you have a molecule and within that molecule two atoms have to form a bond and that will be relatively fast because that molecule don't have to go and search another molecule to pair up and there is no cage of solvent as in this case so the electronic transition is much faster and hence the reaction is fast the reaction is nothing but electronic transition so intramolecular reactions are always faster now we here i have drawn this as a straight chain but in a system in reality it will not exist as a straight chain like this rather it would have a structure something like this so these two carbon atom will be much closer as they were shown in previous structure so they will form a bond like this so the final product would be cyclopentane fine so this is a uh, prima facie what this reaction called by electrolysis is all about now we have studied the reaction and we have also seen the kind of expected problem from this reaction now reaction is over we have also practiced some problems now we move on to other reactions now we will try to club this reaction with other reactions when we study those reactions but for now this reaction is done